They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Blanche, this is one of my favorite trees of all time. You know how certain girls, females, people for that matter, all of us, well, not all of us, most look so much better with their clothes on. That's that tree. Every time I drive by here and look at that tree, I think of her doing the tango. That tree is more beautiful with its leaves off than it is on. As an environmentalist, I have my favorite trees, as we all do. As a real environmentalist, I want to talk to you people about cancer. I'm sick and tired, sick and tired. If I have to hear one more of you weed smoking cookie eaters, come to me and talk to me. You're going to tell me, motherfucker. You're going to tell me. The most aggressive form of cancer a human being could possibly fucking have. Within edges of fucking death. Down to 119. I've survived cancer. So, and you're going to sit on the couch and eat fucking cookies and fucking drawers and tell me how to fucking get fucking cure. Wow. Wow. Let me tell you. This vlog, there's plenty of people that are fighting for their fucking lives with this. This is fucking real. This is very fucking real. Look. There are new forms of cancer jumping up all over via nuclear fallout. You are in the fight of your fucking life from hell. By the time you realize you're even sick, you are so critical. You are so acute. Just a few years ago, you're going to die. So these fuckers go to incredible, radical, extreme measures to save you. It's your only shot for you fuckers to sit in here. Oh, Rick, Rick Simpson's killed more people than fucking Hitler. Fuck, go to the doctor. I'm going to tell you two stories about two people who got cancer at the same time as me. A philanthropist in this town, filthy, stinking rich, as we have the best cancer treatment units maybe in the world here. Why? Huntsman, for instance. How did Huntsman make all his money? Huntsman Chemical. One of the biggest polluters in world history. Styrofoam containers. So you create cancer, you create cancer, then you build up an industry to treat cancer. That is the nuclear industry. They're in a nutshell. That's what they, now did he do that? Well, I don't know, maybe it's overcompensation, but it's a fact because they're phony. They're still trying to sue me for $1,200 for a conversation on the phone. Look, when you get sick and you get attacked by leukemia, AML leukemia, the nuclear fallout, PU-239, PU-240, nuclear fallout, that's the, it's the most aggressive, evil, painful, horrific fucking cancer. I went from 173 pounds to 129 in less than three weeks. I've been so much pain. I've fallen off a roof before, I broke my back. I have a severed tongue. I've broken every bone in my body. Speaking of fucking cancer causing fucking nightmares, those fucking assholes right there, as they're on their way to Western Zirconium, right down the fucking road. They weren't here when I was a kid, the evil fuckers. Evil fucks, yeah. That's who knocked over the fucking thing. Hauling material out to those fuckers so they can fucking grandstand the fucking nuclear moxie fucking weapon. The nuclear power industry is the nuclear weapon industry. That's what number four is all about in fucking Japan. So for you people to come to us and say that there are people in the site who've got cancer after. As you know, I started ranting and raving. I've been carrying on for decades about this. It's going to give you leukemia, leukemia, then I get leukemia. Give it too much to live. Critical condition for 269 fucking days. Down to nothing. So much epic, horrific fucking pain it'll blow your fucking... Uh, in a whole new stratosphere of fucking pain. I literally went months without fucking sleep. Fit line hanging out of my fucking chest. You think those are fucking nice? So for you fuckers, this is real. This is World War III. This is very real. As they've used the propaganda machine on you mass fucking murdering moron. As you bought into it, Rupert's machine. And it blows my mind. How these fuckers can just... Sorry. It blows my mind how these fuckers could feed you anything and you buy it. Oh, buy guns, guns, guns. You buy guns, you can't use one, you can't pull one, you can't, but well, you can spend a couple thousand dollars on one. You fall for it. You fall for anything, this propaganda machine. Another face in the crowd. Fuck, these people, I mean, fuck, where's Andy Griffith when we fucking need him? Oh, fuck, you're more ignorant than me. Fuck, it's so true, it's so true. So enough, enough. We are, I've been fighting this World War III. I've been fighting it for decades. The rest of you, you so-called lefties, freaking tree huggers, whatever, you ain't fighters. You're pussies. You are the fucking problem. 
Why did these fuckers allow it? Because they can, and you allowed it. Because all you do is suck up fucking money. You don't know how to fight. He never fucking did. We've lost for 40 fucking years. So I don't want to hear it anymore. This is a fight from hell. People are dying every second of every day from nuclear fallout. It is a fight from fucking hell. From fucking hell for you fuckers to sit on your couch and fucking eat cookies and fucking tell us. Tell us. You and, and let me tell you something. When I was a professor, when I was a professor, I could identify a plagiaristic paper so fast it would make people's heads spin. I taught the number one MBA fucking program in the fucking country for years. I was on Wall Street. I was a derivative arbitrage special, very successful. I can identify plagiarism from a million fucks. So when you guys come in, my whole poster, you come in and you tag a fucking video, you read the tag, you're in there for 10 seconds and type a fucking tag, that's exactly what post ignorance is asymmetric. I know who you people are. I can read your fucking thing and know you didn't watch the fucking video. Just like other professors used to come to me and say, Kevin, how are you so good at picking out these fucking kids that are committing plagiarism? Because I know my audience. I know my students. I know who they are. I know what they are because I get to know them. I know who my audience is. There's our small army out there. I know who we are. We're real, we're authentic, we're grassroots, we're fucking true blue. We are fighters from fucking hell. We're the alchemy fucking crowd. We're the fucking educated crowd. We're the fucking little literature fucking well-read fucking crowd. We're the fucking passionate fucking William Wallace's Unite the Clans fighters fucking crowd. The real fucking fighter. So when you come in and you tag a little fucking ignorant fucking line off the tag, I know who you are. My post ignorance is fights against people you are. The, my whole post ignorance is to fucking attack that, the 13 second soundbite, which you've all have fallen for. You're Rupert's machine and the 13 second soundbite. You are the fucking culprits. So move the fuck on. I'm here for fucking people that are fucking really, truly believe in these fucking causes. And the fucking, I fight for the people that passed in front of me. Let me tell you something. Over the last year, I have sat with so many young people as they've died. I've learned so much about the human spirit. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. As my spirituality has went into a whole nother freaking realm, my mind has went into a whole fucking realm that I didn't even think fucking possibly existed. As the birds have come to me, the spiritual healers come to me. It's, it's been a powerful, powerful, amazing, amazing time. I've sat with people as they've died. Lots of them. As they've died. Many. Including a five-year-old little girl. So don't fucking tell me. Go eat some more fucking cookies and sit on the fucking couch. Two stories. One. This beautiful woman that I'm friends with. Hardcore. Dietitian nut. Got a butt lump on her breast. Refused the surgery. I'm like, get it cut off. Get it cut off. 95%. Wouldn't. No, no, it'll seed. It'll seed. Went to the diet, went to the alternative diets, the fucking cannabis diets. She went to every alternative fucking diet there was. But she was 100 beautiful woman, very beautiful, young. She died last Christmas day. One more story. The philanthropist in this town, that asshole in Texas, I just had a conversation with his fucking daughter yesterday. He had no chance. He was fucking almost 80 fucking years. He was 80 years old. He was so full of can't, no chance. This fucking doctor in Texas, you the same one you posted me over and over, lied to him, lied to him, lied to him, sucked up four million fucking dollars over a two-year fucking period. And he was going to die in two years anyway. And he died just like the doctors told him. He got about two years, and he had about two fucking years. Sucked two million. Your words are fucking dangerous. This isn't a fucking chicken fucking a goat. This isn't a little kid falling fucking sleeping thing. This is fucking real. This is intensity. This is intensity. This is intensity. This is a real, as it was a YouTube video that saved my life. I found a doctor at Cedar Sinai had fucking posted on YouTube on carcinoids. They said it wrong. And the Silverman himself said, Kevin, you're the only one I ever got wrong, and you proved me wrong. What are the most highly respected They make mistakes. They are humans. You are, you have to dig it and fight for yourself. Now for you to post that kind of shit, remember when you go to type fucking some bullshit, smoke cannabis fucking bullshit fucking thing. There are people watching these videos that are in critical condition. For real. They are fighting for their fucking lives on the edge. Stay tuned.